All right, welcome back to Queens and Mom Jeans podcast. This is Mariah, and I have oh, Kaylin here with me. Hello. That was awkward. But... Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I was still thinking about our topic before before you hit record. I'm sorry. I totally forgot what I was gonna say. I was so distracted as I was saying it. I was like. <laughs> I was so distracted. I was like, read my mind. Oh man, I should have been paying attention. I'm such a dumbass. I <laughs> well, today is uh, going to be a fun topic. Very I'm much so. About it. Um, <clears throat> before we begin, uh, we would like to put in a disclaimer that um, parents... If you don't want to hear about your child's um, sex life. Yeah. Like specifically our moms and dads. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, um, we're like family members that don't want to know about our sex life. Then, yeah. Or you don't want your kids to hear. Just This isn't the episode this, for just you. Just click off. Just, yeah. I would. <laughs> we'll give you a little we, bit of time. We've got a couple <laughs> other episodes you can go rewatch. Yeah. Go ahead and rewatch. <laughs> go- we wanted to one. watch those, but this one probably isn't it for you. So, sorry, so, mom. Sorry, yeah. dad. That's, this ain't it. <laughs> it's not it for you. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to listen, but that's yeah. that's uh, that's totally that's up on to you. you. <laughs> totally on so, you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about sex after marriage and how it's different than before marriage. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a I think it's wild pretty, ride. I think it's, buckle up, kids. <laughs> Literally wild, different? wild ride, you know. You've been saying. with Brandon the longest, so, like. I have been with Brandon for I a, say a it like time. we're in a, like, in a thruple. I say <laughs> it like you've been with him the longest, but, like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we are kind of like yeah. a. How do you say a thruple but four people? Quadruple? Quadruple? I don't know. I made it up. Quadruple? (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, not that we ever have sex after marriage together. That's that's not what I meant. I just meant. No, I just meant that. We don't do that. No. (laughs) Not yet. Just kidding. (laughs) 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 Oh my God, I could never. Oh man, the thought of it's kind of gross. Now, I do love to decorate with pineapples, but we are not mm. swingers. No. I want to put that yeah. out there. She has a lot of pineapples. If you ever drive past, her I house. just think they're cute. So yeah. I am not a swinger. Um, just, just <laughs> yeah. to let y'all know, we don't have any pineapples, but we're definitely. I'm not literally there. wearing a shirt with a pineapple on it on the back. That was a very good. Very good wardrobe. Just for realized, today. just realized that. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you've been with Brandon for so long. Like it has to be so it's different. Definitely for you. different because we, well, one our work schedule. No, oh yeah, that is weird because he works. Basically, um, you're getting home. He's already gone. And yeah, he works three thirty p.m. to one thirty a.m. and then has like a thirty minute drive home so by the time he gets home i'm asleep dead to the world um so like we kind of have to schedule it a little <laughs> bit do you have a set like, calendar please no, tell me you have an own, your own plan no but we have like he's off friday saturday sunday but that's weird too because you so, do a lot of things with the kids on the weekend so like it's hard yeah i mean your kids are always home yeah. So I mean that's yeah. I mean they you go have to bed to be, at some point, but your kids are pretty definitely have to be like strategic sleeper. about it. <laughs> yeah. And tell me why her bedroom's right next I to mine. I mean my... I'm not gonna say that you plan that badly. But well it your was a kind of a, down a girly looking bedroom, so we gave yeah, it to okay. Okay. the girl. <laughs> Fair, I guess. Yeah. Uh yeah. But it's definitely different because of that. And then, you know, after being a mom, yeah. you're exhausted. Yeah. It's tough. It's uh, 
you just don't want to be touched at the end of the day. Yeah, out touched. Didn't we talk about that in one episode? I think we did. Like, like just the like, kids have touched, touched you me. all day, and you're like, just don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, I yeah. can't stand it. Like today, they were climbing all over me all day, and I was like, get off of me. <laughs> yeah, having a mental breakdown. Gosh. Yeah, Elon was very attention seeking today too, but I think she was just bored. Like she was just, and then she had a friend come over. Yeah. And then she went to a friend's house and then I got cleaning done. So like <laughs> the life of yeah, a mom. Jesus Christ. She wasn't there for two hours. So I was like, Oh, let's clean. I should have just taken a nap. I took a nap. I, I, I was home I by should've. myself for two hours. I should have taken a nap. Like now that I think about it, I'm like, why well, didn't I take advantage of that? Well, it's the day before mother's day. So why would I wake up to a clean house in the morning? Like I don't, that wanna, makes sense. I don't want to screw with anything tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day. Except your husband. I take Mother's Day. I mean, I <laughs> hope. I take Mother's Day seriously. Yeah. It's a serious day for me. I get anything we I want. We don't take it super seriously. <laughs> oh, I just, I'm a queen that day. I don't care. Considering Nobody's my daughter went to Walmart with my husband and bought herself something <laughs> with her own money. I thought she was picking out a Mother's Day gift and she brings home handcuffs. And I was like, "That's." I mean, mm-hmm. she just knew about our podcast today. Really. Why do you have those? <laughs> She's like, I got a jailbreak set. She's six. So I don't know why she called it that, but their favorite game to play is to put mommy in jail. So, oh. <laughs> or anybody. It'll be like, you're going to jail. <laughs> well, I got so now... eating tacos earlier. <laughs> she wanted to put me in jail. So oh. not sure why. I didn't know tacos were a crime, but according to your daughter, I'm not allowed to eat Taco Bell. <laughs> I get arrested. Maybe you all can day borrow long. her handcuffs. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's a good segue into our first uh, little yeah. question here about how to make it interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a good one to ask that to right now, though, because there's no. Mm-mm. My body is changing in a lot of ways. I will say... I am very big right now. We definitely tried some different things. Um, But for the most part, it's just the same every Mm. time. I see. So it does get a little bit repetitive. Like, you already know what to expect. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. It may be a little bit boring. Like, you're like, oh, God, we're going to do this again. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I know. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way, though. Like, I'm I sure know a lot of people are like, going. oh, great. <laughs> I think um, our sex is more interesting now because we have to work around my bump. Um. This big old belly we've got in the middle here. I want to be on top and I can't. It. I get out of breath easy now. I like, oh man, before I got pregnant and I was running and I was like in good shape and I was like doing well and then, mm, nope, nope. Now I'm like huffing and puffing and I'm like, I gotta switch this up, honey. I can't, I can't. But I, I mean, I don't know. I feel yeah. like most of the time it's, I mean, it's always good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It's a, it's a good I never man. have sex with it. Like, Yeah. I just, yeah, sometimes it does I mean, get repetitive, I guess. I guess there's been a few times I would say it wasn't the greatest, but... Well, yeah, I think that's everybody, Not every though. single time right. it's going to be mind Not every time it's going to be fireworks like... and, like, all the shit. It's just not going to be that. No. I get it. Especially if, like, because they, they pretty much always get off. They, like, they they always have a good time. But I feel like the female gets, like... It doesn't take as much. Right, yeah. Which I've recently learned that um, <clears throat> this is one of those, if if you don't want to hear this click off <laughs> yeah, moment, just... the clitoris <laughs> is accessible from the inside as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you know, like, the G spot is, like, the other side of yeah. the clitoris? I only so know a that lot from a different women vlogger that I watch. Need both. Yeah. To get off. Well, it's great. <laughs> I feel so like some men that was really interesting. that there's other parts. And that apparently are a good time. the little bean is 
That's just the he head of it a bean. Yeah. Oh my god, that's uh, funny. That's just the head of the clitoris. There's it extends like two inches down or something. I did not know it was that long. I did not know that. But I, I did I might know be that wrong. that's like where the most <clears throat> sensation nerves are. But that would make sense because the head of the penis is like Yeah. You know, the most sensitive area. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense. And didn't you say that, like, you had heard that whenever you have a vasectomy, it's more sensitive after the male has a vasectomy? I think I did hear that. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. can make it more pleasurable for the man. Interesting. And, uh... I need, like, a man's input on this. Yeah, I feel like I should try to invite my husband in here. If there's any men out there that want to let us know that's had a vasectomy, is it more I wanna... sensitive after? We want to know. He said it was for the first, like, couple months, and then I think now it's just back to normal. Oh, I wonder why that is. But and but he also had that complication. Yeah. Where, I forget what it's called, but um, Interesting. it's kind of like a clogged duct. Like the vas, the vases or whatever that carries the sperm. Oh, okay. The part they take out, like it got clogged. Yikes! It was extremely painful. Yikes! See, I don't know if Wessel, because after this baby, I think we're done. I think. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Do not let me change my mind. I will be so mad. Um, but I. I don't know if he would do it or not. He's real weird about it. Like, he just doesn't. He gets real nervous about the idea of it, which I get, but, like. It makes sense. I get it. But women have to do, like, major things for that not to happen. Because I'm not going back on birth control. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I refuse. I'm not doing it. I don't want it either. Yep. If I get pregnant, God bless me with another one. By God, I'm going to be pissed. However, <laughs> however. For like the first day. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be mad for a hot second and then, you know, whatever. But I just, I'm not going back on birth control. I'm not doing it. No. I hated it. It's awful. Oh, it's terrible. Literally terrible. It made me crazy. Mm-hmm. And then whenever I came off of it, like after they took out my IED, I was even more nuts. Oh, yeah. For like weeks. <laughs> that's a good Go turkey off the um, you know point because I and then I, didn't I didn't want know sex. that it could affect your hormones like that and my doctor was like pushing the IUD like he really wanted they me to do all it push because it. I guess the pill can affect your blood pressure and I was having blood pressure issues Ugh. and I was like well I would be okay with an IUD like I wanted one and I just, I couldn't do it because I guess I have a short cervix. Mm, it yeah. just kept falling out. And they yeah. said after the second time, and if it falls out again, like I had to get an ultrasound yeah. to make sure it was in place. And which was really awkward because um, he had, I was like in my robe, you know, like oh, yeah. the gown. And he has me walk down the hallway to the ultrasound room no and we like sneak in there it was really weird and he like like does the ultrasound thing on my uterus to see if it was in the right spot and he's like everything looks good and then it it lasted for like a week and i was like i could feel it coming out yeah no i never i was just walking around I was at work one day and I felt it come out Uh, and I, it didn't hurt, No, but it like, have you ever had a, like a tampon fall out? Yeah. And it's just like hanging out down there. Yeah. And you're like, Oh boy. Yeah. That's what it felt like. And I was like, wait a minute. I kind of forgot about it. And I was like, I know my period. So what the heck? And I go to the bathroom. It was there. Mm -hmm. I had mine in for five years. But whenever they first put it in, I was, like, real crampy and, like, weird. Mm. And then I was okay once I got adjusted. But once they took it out, I was nuts. And then I didn't want to have sex at all. I was like, Mm. don't fucking touch me. I'm mad at the world. Like, I hated it. Yeah. So I never want to do that again. I was nuts. I hated it. I think why I get so, like, 
I don't want to have sex is because it's always, like I already said this, it's always the same. But, like, we go, it's always on the weekend. Well, yeah. Because that's the only well, time that's we the have only day he's off. Yeah, that makes sense. And then it's always expected. Like, we go to bed and we lay there and I feel like we don't talk for a minute. We're like kind of both thinking like, are we gonna are we gonna have sex? Is this gonna happen? But neither one of us <laughs> says anything and it gets awkward. Like one day I just kinda just flat out said, I, can we just go to sleep? Because I'm kinda <laughs> tired. And uh I feel like that's normal though. Yeah. He was totally fine with it because he was tired, too, from working all week. I feel like movies and media makes sex, like, after you're married and then, like, you've had a long-ass day, you don't, you just don't want to. It's not that you don't want to have sex with yeah. them. It's just sometimes you just want to I don't want to have sex with bed. anybody. Yeah, I just yeah. don't you just want, want to go touch. to bed. I just want to go to bed. But I feel like movies and media and, like, songs and mm. other things, like, they make it sound like it's, like, you're going to come home and be, like, swept off your feet and, like, you know, kissed like crazy. And then it's just, like, then you're going to have the most passionate sex of your life. And it's, yeah. like, no. It's <laughs> not really it's like not, that. It's, no. like, hey, okay. I've got ten minutes. Right. Yeah. We've got about an hour before the kiddo wakes up. So, mm-hmm. What are we doing here? Yeah. Are you a morning or an evening? Well, you have a preference. <laughs> I think <laughs> evening because I am not a morning person mm-hmm. in yeah. any way. Like, as soon as I wake up to get healed, I'm just, like, like get I'm ready for school. Sleep. I'm have just, like, dead to the world. I don't talk to anybody. And now that I'm pregnant and can't have my coffee, I really fucking hate the world. <laughs> like, I can't, like, I just get up and I, I drink a bottle of water <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> oh today ain't it you know like every day today ain't it for me in the morning I don't like morning sex because I feel gross when I wake up like I would like especially if I haven't like brushed my teeth yes do not do Ugh. not kiss me I have dragon breath like do not I told kiss Brandon me. that once and he was like oh I don't I don't care I don't care and I was like, yeah, well, I, was like I, I know do. it's fine and it I'm like Ooh. like I can't I know I cannot I'm like, can I please just, like, brush my teeth, like, take a shower? Mm-hmm. I feel great after I have a shower, though. Or, like, just, oh, I can't. Mm-hmm. I feel like brand new woman after I shower. But I like to shower at night. Mm. Yeah, I usually do, But it's weird because I always take a shower with Wes in the evening. That's our 15 minutes of, like, fame right there. <laughs> We're like, how was your day? It's great. Hand me the shampoo. Like, you know, we. that's when we talk. But... I feel like all that's going to change when the baby comes and we're going to have no time mm. to have any sexy time at all. But I also, after I had Elon, I did not take the six week mm. window I that they tell you we did to. either. I took like a week and a half, two weeks. And I was like, it was not. I'm good. It, yeah, it was not. It was very painful. And I did not enjoy it I at all. But I felt bad because like, you know, Wes doesn't know. Like, he, he I doesn't know. So interesting. I after I had Nora, I was like, I couldn't wait to have sex again. Oh, I yeah. Was I was like, pumped. But I think part of my problem was because I had so much back pain during my mm, pregnancy. Yeah. You I probably felt great. I didn't after have you sex for like the last trimester. Mm, yeah. Like ever. So a lot of women don't want it then. After and it's just your belly's heavy You're, and yeah. like you don't feel the same swollen. about yourself and yeah. You don't feel sexy at no. all. Your no. boobs hurt. Oh, your, my boobs hurt all the damn you're time. You're hot and you're sweating <laughs> yeah. constantly. It's gross. And <laughs> yeah, I get that. it didn't happen. So like after I was really excited and it was kind of painful while I was pregnant. Oh yeah. So I remember after I was like excited to have sex for the first time in months. Yeah. And it was it wasn't um good or bad. It was just kinda like We had uh, sex. Mm, yeah. That happened. And then I was that happened. Uh, <laughs> and then I couldn't you know, they tell you not to take a bath or anything. Yeah. Too. So that kinda sucked because I'm a bath taker for sure. And um 
yeah, it was weird. I had like a lot of things <laughs> going on down there mm -hmm. and didn't realize. Yeah. Um, so it, I guess I think it was a little bit painful, but it wasn't like excruciating. It I feel was like just I should like, have waited a little bit longer and then it would have been more enjoyable, but I felt bad. I felt I bad. Cause I, but now with this child, I am very horny <laughs> all the damn time, but it's weird now because I'm at home mm. every day. So Wes, who works every day because I am home. He is falling asleep an hour and a half after he gets home. 6.30 o'clock work. Shower, dinner, asleep on the couch. Never fails. Like 8, 8.30, he is out. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll give him a nap, right? I'm yeah. like, perfect. If I'll just take a little nap. I can mm -hmm. finish my, my stuff here. I can put away the laundry. But no. Mm -mm. I get him up. He goes, takes out his contacts, goes to bed. And goes to sleep. Like, they're, like... Instantly. Yeah, head hit the pillow, out. Goner. And I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, like, trying to get him all <laughs> riled up. And, like, sometimes it works, okay? But then sometimes I get so mad at him <laughs> that, like, I don't even touch him. I just stare at him. Like, Slap just him. stare at him while he's asleep. Like, really? And then, like, I'll wake him up arguing with him. And I'm sure he loves that. <laughs> I'm sure that's, like, his favorite but, like, I get so mad because I'm, like, I'm tired, too. Mm -hmm. Okay? But, like, we have things to do. You know what I mean? Like, but I get I'm it sometimes. I'm a woman and I have needs. Yeah. I feel like sometimes it's on his <laughs> convenience, like, his time. You know? He's, like, well, if I want it, then that's going to happen. And it's, mm. like, that's how I feel. But it's totally on mine. I know it. Because I'll... <laughs> Like, sometimes he won't give it to me, you know, because he's tired and stuff. And I get it. Like, he works all day and he works really hard. So, like, I get it. But then there's days whenever I don't want it. So, like, I shouldn't complain. Mm -hmm. But, like, it ain't very often that I ain't asking for it. So, I feel like, you know, I feel like it should happen <laughs> more. But I can't complain. It happens almost every day. But when it doesn't, I just get mad. But I also feel self-conscious some days. Mm -hmm. Like, more than others. Like, I'll feel real bloated, like, after oh, I hate dinner. That. I or, hate like, that. and I'm already big, you know, like, I'm already sticking out there, and I'm like, God, I feel like shit, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> sometimes I'm like nauseous, or like, I've got a shit. You never know. It's not, <laughs> it's not pretty. Like, <laughs> pregnancy and sex is not pretty at all. I you just, know what else oh. is not pretty? What? Period sex. Ugh. Nope. Nope. I've heard it's like uh, better men for some always women. Say like, that it's not gross for them. It but has to be. What oh, about for oh. me? They don't ever oh. think about how I feel about it. Oh. I don't like it. Wes ain't really into that. He's not. I. But I had an IUD for five years, so I didn't have a period for a really long time, and then I got pregnant after, yeah. so I didn't really have one for a long time. But I just, I don't like it. I just, some women say that they're more aroused on their period. Like, God. good for you, because I am not at all. Like, I don't want to be touched. I don't want to, no. No, but I'm really crampy, and I bleed super heavy. So I'm just like, no, I don't, no thank I'm you. not crampy, and I don't usually bleed a lot. But I just don't, it almost hurts. It's oh, like, you know how your, your cervix, like, moves while, but... up and down. Um... During your cycle, like, I mean, just, like, I mean, that makes sense. So, yeah. like, it's, I think it's either lower or higher. I don't remember during your period, but it, like, it's almost painful for me. I just don't, I don't, I don't know if that's like normal, it. but. Some women love it and some men love it, but, like. I've heard it can help alleviate West. cramps. Yeah, I don't like it. Maybe, like, the last day. <laughs> you when know, it's, like, real life. Like, yeah. When I've it's, like, that. not a big deal. But, like, if I need to put down a towel and stuff and, like, clean up after, we're... no. I am not going to make my bed look like a massacre for what? For 10 minutes? I don't need, no. Like, yeah. no, 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 no. I don't need, I don't need that. I, don't I need just it. don't like the way it feels. Oh, I just, oh, it's gross. And I know what's coming out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's just... what I'm thinking in my head. It's yeah. like, ugh. It's ugh. not just blood. No, it's all, ugh, it's a lot. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. 
Yeah, it's pretty gross. I'm with you on that. Some women love it, though. I have friends that tell me that they love it. And I'm like, that's great. For you. <laughs> but I, I just can't get behind it. I love that for you. Yeah, I love that for you. That's awesome. But, like, can't relate at all. There is nothing in me that can relate to that. Wish I could, but I can't. No. How do you deal with, like, the... Like, if one of you initiates and the other person's like, nah, I don't really want to. Like, what do you, how do you say no? I always feel bad saying no. Mm. Like, we'll go to bed and he'll, like, you know, lay his arm over me and I can tell he's yeah. it's looking that time. for something. Yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, man, I just really wanted to go to sleep. Like. I, but I don't know how to say it without feeling awful Like about guilty it. about it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't usually give in because I'm not really that kind of person. I'm going to yeah. do something that I don't yeah. want to do. But I'll go to bed feeling guilty about it for sure. Mm-hmm. And then I'll wake up in the morning and I'm like, dang it. There's not a lot of times now that I ever turn it down. But <laughs> there, I mean, in the, like, before I got pregnant for sure, I'd just be like... Very, but I feel like it's been weird to have sex for like months before I got pregnant because we were trying for oh, that's true so long before that. Like, sometimes I just get depressed, like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Like, we're gonna have sex I'm again, and the only thing again. I'm gonna think about is, is this the time I'm gonna get pregnant? You know, then it's not like then it's not like fun, yeah, at all. But when I don't want it, I just tell them, I like, I don't usually give in most of the time, I'm just like, meh. I just ain't feeling it, man. Like, you know, and then he's like, oh, okay. He never pushes, like, the issue. Yeah. Ever. Like, he never makes me, like, feel bad. But I get feeling guilty because I yeah. sometimes feel like, especially if we haven't had sex in a while, I'm like, oh, that's kind of shitty. I'll make like, maybe comments I once that. in a while, like, to other people. Like, when I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, well, the one time That would piss me off. That, kind of that would make me, me mad. That would make but me so mad. I don't so think mad. he realizes yeah. he's saying it. Like, he just, he thinks it's funny. Like, you know, making a joke about it. Where I'm over here, like, yeah. human. Like, I feel like that would hurt my feelings. But I'm super sensitive anyway. Like, not too. just when I'm pregnant, but I am sensitive all the time. And Wes knows that. So I don't, he doesn't bring up our sex life to other people. Unless, like. It's like you guys or like our yeah, other it's not close random friends. People. Like it's not it's weird. usually yeah. around. It, like... That's not super weird to talk about, but he doesn't like go into detail. It's always like a you know a joke that doesn't make me feel bad. But if he were to say something like that, like I only get it once a week, I'd be like, first of all, you're fucking lying. Second <laughs> of all, like no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Like why would you say why? Why? I don't ever want to, like, do it just because either. Like, I don't know. I read this thing one time that said... Like, you want an intention behind it? Yeah. Like, why? Mm -hmm. I don't want to just... Just because we're we're married. Just because we're married, we should be having sex. Well, I don't feel like that... I don't know. I read this article in a magazine, and it suggested, like, how to get back into having sex more often and you have like sex every day for 10 days in a row. Okay. And I remember telling Brandon about it. He's like, all right. But I feel like any I'm guys like, like no. that, they're like, okay, I can't you know, even like, imagine. I can do that. It's like, can't you know. imagine doing that. I mean, we've definitely had sex 10 days in a row, but I don't think I've ever I just done that. Don't want, what if in that 10 days, I just don't feel like it. Like, what if he doesn't feel like it? Who can, like, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, we didn't do it. Yeah, I, I would think that's weird. I'd be like, no, like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But. What do you think about toys in the bedroom? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. Now, we I'm not really into have anything, like, in the back door. Oh, I'm not about it. Like, I want to be that person. I want to be like, yeah. Yeah, you pick, you know, like, but I, I can't, I just don't, I don't like it. Like, I just I don't, don't really like either. it. It's like, not my we thing. We kind of have an unwritten rule that we don't mess with yeah, that not area. Thing. Not my thing. But we've definitely, like, 
tried. Oh different yeah, stuff. we have two. It's just and not it. you know, different toys and yeah, lubes and oh yeah, stuff to make it more yeah. interesting. Some of them are fun. I always Some felt of them are a good time. We don't really have a lot. It's not like yeah, I don't we don't think have a we've ton ever either. been to like an adult store together. Oh, we definitely have. I've been with you. <laughs> Me and Wes. <laughs> Several times. Me and Wes definitely have. <laughs> but me and Brandon so have fun. never went into like Cirillo's or anything. Oh, it's so fun. You Maybe need to go. Spencer. Just go but and that's... have no intention of anything whenever you go in. That's what me and Wes said because we, we've been to so many. Just I almost want to so buy one of those like big bags full of just random stuff just to see what's oh, in Oh, the it. grab bag? Yeah. They're fun. But I don't know. I always feel weird in there. Except when I've gone with you. <laughs> well, I feel like that's, yeah. I feel but like that's normal. But... I, I just don't know what to buy. I feel like I would be, I feel awkward with Go in there with no intention to buy anything. Yeah. At all. And just look. And just whatever tickles your fancy. Okay, <laughs> no pun intended. But, you know, like, just go and have fun with it. That's what we did. We literally and have been to, like. If it tickles your fancy, <laughs> even better. <laughs> I feel, I just feel like it's fun. We have a good time. We went into like Cirilla's one time, like out of nowhere. We went and saw a movie and we didn't have Elon for the night. And we were just like, let's go to Cirilla's. And I was like, okay. We always you know, make like, a joke a that we're going to go. Like, yeah. but we never end up going. I don't. But we've been to like different Cirilla's, like different, not necessarily Cirilla's, but there's like Lover's Lane and there's like. I take it back. I think we went together one time. It's fun. And we just bought like this tiny little bottle of lube. Oh, they at Cirillo's, they have like a whole like case of different lubes. And they are so we didn't know what to get. So Oh, it's a good time. That was like back in college. Yeah. So we weren't married yet. And we just didn't really know it. (laughs) Well, also sometimes like he used to, like, just go in there and then just get, like, something, like, for me without me picking it out. And then it would be, like, fun to just kind of, like, do whatever. We're not into, like, anything crazy, though. Like, we're both pretty, like, I feel like average. Yeah. <laughs> we're not really into, like, I don't know. We're not really into, like, bondage. Never done. Or, like, oh, we, I mean, just I don't know. I, well, man. we have done something blindfolded once. Oh yeah, that was kind of okay. Blindfolded, but I, guess. I don't know. We it was it didn't yeah. do anything for me. Yeah, we just it just felt like, like doing it with dark, like the lights. Yeah, off. you have your eyes closed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> like I don't. Are I you don't a lights really on get or a lights off kind of person. If it's at night, I want the lights off. But we also like to light candles. Oh, oh yeah, candle sex. Romantic. Brandon told me all about it. <laughs> I kind of like the romantic type. Yeah, like I need to be that's very West wooed too. first. That's very West. He's like, very passionate. Maybe a glass very, of like... wine and some candles and some music. I need to be like yeah. wooed. <laughs> I need to be wooed. <laughs> and <laughs> that's a good way to put it, though. Wooed before the woo hoo. <laughs> I remember but, Brandon telling me one time, Wes said something about sex and they were talking about it. They made a joke and he was like, have you ever tried candle sex? And I just looked at him and I'm like, what the fuck is candle sex? Like, I'm thinking he's like lighting it, and like making the wax fall no, on you and don't shit. don't do and that. Like, don't. I don't think Mariah's Ugh. into that. <laughs> that I've never that done that, but week. I can't imagine pouring hot wax on any part of No, I had someone tell me that they did it and it is not. It's not it. Like she was like, no, like I did not like it. I, I remember like, the she, look on her face. I was like, like I oh, don't recommend. Oh, okay. Like <laughs> I won't. I won't do that. You know what I mean? Not that I had intentions to, but like, no. But I remember Brandon telling me that. And then the next week, Wes had we had went to Walmart, and I love candles. I love them. I have them all the way around my house. Most of the time they're not lit, but because they drive Wes nuts. Mm-hmm. But I like. I had them all and I have them in my bedroom too and they're real cute in there right they're just like decorative candles like they don't get lit. I do that but one time I got out of the shower and he like had lit them all and it was so Aww, cute I would and die he, as soon as I walked in I'm like thinking he's being all sexy you know and he's like 
Brandon told me this is great. And then I couldn't like get into it at all because all I thought of was Brandon. Why and I'm like, bring up why the fuck are you talking about Brandon? <laughs> It was so weird. And then he's like, oh, I, I shouldn't have started with that. I was like, dude, all I can think about is Brandon. Like, that's it. This is it for me. I don't even think it happened, to be honest. Like, I don't even think. Like, I was like, no. But then, like, we ended up, you know, at some point. Trying it later. Sex, which is cute. But, like, I, I like know. it. Wes likes the I like lights the, on, I think. The, li- the flickering light. We have, like, the dim so... lights, though. So he like oh, dims them, you know, and makes it all. He, he wants also, to be able to see it all, but uh, like, I do I like know. like during the day sex because then the lights are on, you can't really, yeah. you know, do anything about it. It's daylight, yeah, and so that's kind of fun. Yeah, that is in the fun. afternoon. I like it like prime time, right before <laughs> dinner, because <laughs> then I'm after. just not like. I'm just not, like, bloated and just feel like I just ate the whole world. I'm just like, <laughs> no. Huh. I hate it after dinner because then I get gassy. <laughs> I mean, it makes you know, sense like, if they're pushing your legs up and yeah. stuff. Like, it'll sneak out. Oh, I'm it doesn't so- sneak. <laughs> it just I'm not so shy about that stuff, sneak. though. If I got a fart, like, I'll just let you know. I used you to know, get I really embarrassed, and sometimes <laughs> now I do too if it's like really bad. But I'm like, <laughs> oh, I do it. That's what I'll say, because I, I, yeah. But he usually just doesn't even. It would not it. phase Wes at all. He don't give a shit. No, Wes would not be phased in the slightest about any of that. But he knows that I just don't care. <laughs> if you don't like it, like, don't do it. Then I don't know what to tell you. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened oh, during God. sex? Oh God! I, don't <laughs> I know. just thought of that's one. a good I question. Had to ask. <laughs> yeah, you tell me. I think for me, um, was uh, it's between like Brandon falling out of bed <laughs> after because I was laying there and like his knee gave out. He was really close to the That's some side. leg shaking good shit. I mean, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> he was real close to the edge and like his knee gave out and he just. <laughs> <laughs> Our bed was really close to the wall. <laughs> and he like tried to catch himself on the wall too. So he like didn't just hit the floor. He like fell into the wall and made a whole big boom sound and I'm like you know trying to relax right. and I boom and I was like what the heck did you just fall out of the bed and it was dark oh nice so he couldn't really see nice and I didn't know what happened oh my god so I'm that's like funny. dying laughing I don't I don't that's probably there's the a couple I guess me. but I think <laughs> <laughs> One time it was the middle of the day and <laughs> oh, no. Ewan was in her room and I was just, <laughs> it just happened, you know, like she's entertained. So like, you know, we shut the door and we lock it. <laughs> and I don't know if I, what happened, but I laid on the bed wrong I from the jump. Like I just laid, I just remember laying on the bed and it was wrong. Like, I shouldn't have been laying in that position. I shouldn't have laid on that corner of the bed. But, like, things were happening on the corner of the bed. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And then I started to, like, slip, right? Like, I just started to, like, start to fall. And, like, I'm still into it. So I'm like, not a big deal, you know? And then Wes puts his knee, like, on the bed. And I'm a goner. Like, I am halfway off laying upside down, legs laid in the air. On the bed still, but, like, my top half is not. Like, titties are suffocating me. I can't, I can't, can't do anything. Like, I'm trying to sit up, but, like, (laughs) he's not helping me. And then, like, he finishes. Like, it's over. And I'm just, like, he kept going. (laughs) He's laughing so hard, and he just keeps going. And I'm, like, I don't know how to stop. Yeah, he's, like, I can't can't stop, you know. And I'm, like, yes, you can. (laughs) In my head, I'm, like, what the fuck? And so I just remember like laying there and I have to look like I have 800 chins 
because like my whole head is like <laughs> upside down and like I'm trying to look at him and trying to like get up and <laughs> he's not helping me and then like after we're done my legs are still halfway on the bed but like my top half, half is still off <laughs> your top yeah and then hmm. like he's trying to help me but like I'm a bigger human so for him to like pull me up my legs are like <laughs> my legs are like kicking and splayed all over and I look like I'm landing a plane with my legs and I like go to sit up and like I just can't like I just I can't find the core strength to like get up if that ever so happened I just to me kinda, it like, be a- roll off but it was more of like a flop so like everything <laughs> flopped and he like watched the whole thing and I couldn't help but laugh and he's still laughing like we both have tears laughing because like what just happened like you fucked me so hard i fell off the bed and and now everything looks like a beached whale for me because everything's out everything's flopping around i can't help but laugh because and then like my belly starts going wherever i'm laughing and like it just looks so fucking stupid (laughs) but i couldn't help it i thought that was funny if I ever fell out of bed, it would be a problem because ours is so high off the ground. And I'm very You would short. have a concussion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that would be interesting. It was pretty entertaining. <laughs> like, I just... I'll just never forget it. Like, the look in his eyes that he's just, like, laughing, but he keeps going. <laughs> and I just couldn't understand that the whole time. I'm like, why... Why didn't we end this? <laughs> why didn't we reposition? Like, what happened? <laughs> But it was, yeah, that was pretty funny. That was entertaining for us, I think. But we just laughed about it and then, like, went on about our day. But I think the ending flop was just, we All you can do is really laugh. I mean, yeah, well, what else was I gonna do? Like, what else could I do? It was, it was all over. (laughs) I just picture the image that he saw me in, like, halfway off the bed, upside down, and then, like, a massive flop. Like, what? Why? <laughs> Why did we do that? I don't it was funny though. It was a good time. But I couldn't concentrate on any of the sex. It was more like don't I'm I'm gonna not breathe. <laughs> don't like, break my yeah, neck. I'm gonna break something. <laughs> and I just couldn't like sit up and it was you know, <laughs> rocking back and forth trying to find the, the momentum to get it back up on the bed and it just didn't I thought he was going to help me. And then he just, like, didn't. It was bad. God love our husbands. (laughs) They've seen us in the worst positions. And I just... You've seen everything. Sex is not... It's it's not like porn. It's not like a... It's it's not not like a movie. It's not like Fifty Shades of Grey shit. It's not. That's all made up. That's not sex. That's not real I can't. Picture... Okay. Picture you and Brandon having sex, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Get the image in your head. You're like Ooh. right in the middle of it. Things are getting heated. Now take yourself away out of the picture. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't want to look take at Take yourself it. out and then like tell me Brandon doesn't look stupid. <laughs> tell me he doesn't look like the dumbest human. Just like. <laughs> just like humping. It. Oh man, they look so dumb. They have to. And then like. Okay, now take Brandon out of the picture and picture yourself. Like, no, I don't want to. What? I don't want to. It's not attractive at all. Things be jiggling. Oh, I have to jiggle everywhere. Everywhere. There is not a part of my body that doesn't jiggle. I feel, I always wonder what I, I look like during. You should record yourself. I don't know. No, I would hate it. I would I don't hate it. I think I would like that. I would hate it. I would literally hate it. But, like, I kind of think it'd be funny. <laughs> There's parts of it I'm like, that's pretty funny. But no. Mm-mm. I shouldn't. No. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, like, picturing it in my head and it's awful. I am too. How are husbands I'm just, like, just being, like, I'm just sitting here, like. But Wes reassures me all the time. He's like, I love your body. I love how you look. I love having sex with you. And I'm like, but Why? <laughs> Like, and he's like, why do you say that about yourself? And I'm like, ooh. Like, (laughs) what do you mean? Have you looked at me lately? Like, do you just not, do you picture something else? Because I probably would. (laughs) Like, because our husbands are hot. 
You know what I mean? I've never like they're pictured attractive. anybody else stirring. Yeah, I haven't either. I've heard that's like a thing, but I don't, I've never done that. It, it, I mean, I think I probably attempted just to see what it was like, and I was like, this is weird. Yeah, fair. Like, my husband's right here. Like, why would I picture somebody else? I don't think I've ever tried, but, like, I don't think I'd be into it if I did. Yeah, I... Because I would picture someone completely unattainable. <laughs> like, it's not just, realistic. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't think I I yeah. would like that. I, I feel like, like if you're in a happy marriage, you shouldn't be yeah, that's true. somebody else. Yeah, that's true. We are in very happy marriages, so I think we're okay okay with having sex with our... (laughs) Yeah, I feel like we're okay with having sex with our own husbands, but, you know, (laughs) I just feel like... Having sex with our other husbands. (laughs) We have multiple, Somebody else's husband. Yeah. Um, Ew. No. I couldn't. There's no way. I just can't. I just can't. But I wonder after, like, 50 years... Of, like, being married, I wonder if, like, how they spice it up. Because I'm sure after 50 years or, like, you know, a long time of being married, I wonder how they... We've been married... Spice it up, you know? Seven years this June. But we've been together for, like, 13 years. So... We've been married three. Yeah. But we've been together for a while. But still, Mm -hmm. I just... I don't know. I feel like our sex is still good. But, like, even if you're still in a happy marriage, like, decades down the road here, mm-hmm. what, like, what is that going to bring? You know what I mean? I'll have to be old. I, right. Is old Ooh. sex better? I feel like there's a, at some point you just stop like having, having sex. sex. Really? There's nothing. I don't know. I mean, I get, well, I guess I've heard my grandparents say something about it before that they don't, you just like, don't have sex anymore, but, like, I don't, maybe they just say that to me, you know what I mean? I don't know, because, you know, your grandparents don't really talk about it normally. Yeah, it's not really a conversation yeah, it's not at the dinner like table. Yeah, I bring up at, like, Easter, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, not it's something like... I bring up at Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> it Maybe I should, though. Maybe that could be a really interesting Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get the wine flowing. Everybody just just tell me about your sex life. Yeah. I don't know if I want that image in my head, though. Meh. Whatever. I've had worse, I think. I feel like I'm mature enough now that I can just realize that, you know, everybody's human. Right. Everybody does it, so. Yeah. If you don't have Why sex for a while, about? how do you feel about solo sex? Mm. I'm down for it. I'm, I'm about to call I don't think that men or women should feel like they can't yeah. do that after they're married. Yeah, I agree. Like, yes, I just you feel have like a... it shouldn't be a problem. No. It after. Should... Like, you shouldn't be doing that more than what you're having sex with your wife. Yeah, if you, you feel know like I mean? you don't want to do it with your partner and you'd rather do it with yourself yeah. or somebody else, that might be something you should talk yeah, about. Yeah, that's a little fun. But, you know, like, you can't help if, yeah, you know, you're in that but like mood every and they're not while, there. Like, I get it, you know. I get it. It's not, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I, it's supernatural. Like, it's very, it's, like, a natural thing that goes on so like I get it but Uh it shouldn't be and I don't want to say everyday occurrence but it shouldn't be a thing where like you're not having sex with your wife or your husband because you would rather do that yeah like that means there's a problem in your sex life I that's kind of like it just depends on my mood like if I'm in the mood for just me yeah, sometimes you just, and I feel like it's important to get in tune with, like, just yourself. Yeah. To know, like, you know, what your body what still you likes, like. what you want, like, what you think about during, like, mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of, like, self-discovery sure. things in that. Like, you may find something that you like that you didn't even think, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's normal. What do you think about porn? I was just thinking that. Yeah, what like, do you think, do you um, think it's, do you, I don't know, sometimes... 
we'll watch it together. Oh, okay. Yeah. By, I feel like that's more to fun. kind of spice up the mood or whatever. Yeah. Or to get into the mood. And I feel like that's normal. Yeah, I think so too. I don't sit and watch it on my own. Right. I don't either. I can't say that I never have. Yeah, me neither. But, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like it's out of the ordinary, too. I feel like men watch it more than women. I don't. I'm very picky on what I watch. Because a lot of it's Oh, same. I can't do, like, specific genres. Sometimes, like, I feel like it's weird. I can't do. This may sound weird, but I would prefer, like, female. Oh, same. I feel like they know what they're doing. Yeah. I feel like they know I'm gonna watch what it. they're doing. Same. Yep. You know. I'm the same way. I told me and Wes were talking about this the other day because I asked him what he would watch and he like told me the like a category that was like big tits. You know what I mean? Like a normal <laughs> yeah, that's like a normal male category. BBW. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. I feel like that's a normal male category to say, like Wes likes tits. Most men like tits. It is, it is what it is, you know? That's why I found or out Or, like, that, big butt or, like, yeah. big... You know what I mean? Like, the Men don't tits. really care about what your boobs look like. They just like boobs. Yeah, boobs are boobs. Yeah. I mean, I love boobs. Don't get me wrong. I love boobs. I love to look at people's boobs. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, boobs are great. Like, that's wonderful. I wish people could just walk around naked. Like, I want my boobs out. <laughs> I wish. If I could live in a nudist colony, I would. I swear I would do it in a heartbeat. Me and Wes talk about retiring there all the time because I would be. I in always heaven. wanted to go to a nudist beach. God, how great! You don't. People always say Let me how grab gross my stuff it for is, the beach. but I'm like a towel. I just feel <laughs> like I would feel like so free there. Oh, do you know how women empowering that would feel? Like to see other women walking around with like any body, normal type, bodies, any shape. Any color, like beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful women walking around all over. Like, yes, sign me up. Sign. Oh, it's not like me up. hairy old men. I mean, it is, but it I mean, definitely is. But like, even they then, have, I don't even yeah, care. They have men like that are super hairy. They have men that have no hair. Mm-hmm. They have men with beer bellies. They have men with abs. Like, you know, dad bods. Yes. Oh, I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. I love the dad bod. Mm. Sign me up. Love it. I would pick a dad bod over a, a ripped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't. Give me, like, give me the full dad bod. That's the best. Yeah. I, I just don't find it more attractive. Yeah. If they have, like, you know. A I just feel like I could and... never, like, someone that's super fit, like, I just can't. No. Nope. I, can't. I mean, it makes me, um, proud kind of of that person that yeah that hard that work looks great you. like great like, job for you but yeah. i can't say that i'm more attracted to somebody just because of that yeah me neither i'm very much there's a, some women that are only like into like the physical like fit not me look i'm not it i'm just not it i'm more know. of a how you make me feel about right. myself and uh your personality and yeah i agree. don't really judge people and what they look like i agree don't care that's why i feel like <laughs> i could be attracted to a man or a woman because like i think women are beautiful and i think men are beautiful mm-hmm. but i feel like it wouldn't matter if i was with a woman or a man i just mm-hmm. happen to fall in love with a man but like if a woman treats you right, like women are beautiful. Like what I don't see. Yeah. I don't feel like that's weird. I feel like that's very like, you know, I mean, I feel like it's not a weird thing to think that women are beautiful too. I don't feel like that's weird. Mm-hmm. But if I, w- if I were to watch porn, it would be women, yeah. like women porn. Cause I feel like they, they know what they're doing. They went down with Just intention, like- <laughs> you know, like <laughs> no pun intended. They went down with intention. It was, you know, I get that. I totally get that. I think I like it more, too, because I know what's ha- oh, yeah. happening. Yeah. That makes sense. You can, like, like, relate to it. Yeah. I get that. Plus, yeah. you know, that's what I like, so. 
Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's lots of women I feel like that would rather just have oral than, like, sex. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm one of those. I don't know. I don't know. I think our sex is really good, so I don't... I don't know. I, like I think it just things. depends. Like, I'm just all... If you only had 15 minutes, what would you choose? Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, what would your be your go-to to... I don't know. Because me, I think, would be... I mean, that's all great. Cookie. Yeah. I mean, eating the cookies, <laughs> wonderful. Dear God, yes, it's good. Um, but I don't know. I don't. I like when Wes is very vocal with me. Mm-hmm. Like, I like <laughs> when he tells me what he likes, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I like when he's like, yep, that's good. You know what I mean? Like, that's not how he says it, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's good. He good likes, job. you know, exactly right there. Yeah. He, he I like when he, <laughs> I like when he's vocal with me, but that's really hard for him because he doesn't, Wes does not communicate about shit. Yeah. So, you know, it's, you know, I like that though. When he's very like open about what he wants, what he likes. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's I feel like we have conversations like about it, like not during. Yeah, like we do too. At a random time, we'll be just like sitting there talking about, like, how are you feeling? Like, should we try something different? Yeah, we do too. Like, I like we. I feel like that's good to do. We kind of that's the one area that I feel like our communication is on point. (laughs) The sex. Yeah, I feel like we talk about (laughs) stuff, but when it comes down to the nitty gritty. We he doesn't like communicate during, mm. which I like, but I also don't want I him don't to be like super lovey dovey either. Like, like I don't want him to be like telling me he loves me and shit like during sex. Like, don't, no, don't. That kind of puts me off a little bit. Too. Don't do that. Like, this is t- get dirty with me. Stop it. Like, <laughs> do not say nice shit to me. You know what I mean? But I, I mean, I get that. You know, Wes is a very passionate, very like. He just loves to love me. Is what he says. So, like, I get it. But, like, I'm like, don't say that. Like, just fucking take that. me. Don't say that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so I, but I feel like we have conversations about that, too. It may not be, like, during. Mm-hmm. But it'll be, like, the most random. Like, we'll be sitting on the couch and I'll be like, so. Here in about an hour and ten minutes, I'm going to put you on the bed. And then, what are you I feeling? You. Yeah. <laughs> what you feeling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then usually he's asleep, so we just save that for the next day. How about um, lingerie? Mm. Does it make you feel like sexy to yes. wear it? Yes. You too. Yeah, I like to put it on because then I get excited. I don't want to like, take it off. I love this. I don't either. I don't either. Because I feel like but all then the Wes, like, excitement asked, is yeah. over wearing I've it. I've asked Wes before if he'd rather, if he would like like me to wear lingerie, and like he's bought me like I love Torrid. We all know I absolutely adore Torrid, and they have beautiful lingerie. Mm-hmm. So like I'll get some, and like now I'm not wearing any. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not wearing anything because I have nothing to wear that fits. Um, but I will like put it on, but like Wes would rather me just be naked. He says it all the time. He's like, you look very pretty, but I would just rather you be naked. And I'm like, take it all in, okay? Like, I worked yeah, I know. hard it's, to look like this. It's hard to put it on sometimes, too, the way it fits. So Yeah, and to it. take it off, it's just like a whole other goat ass rodeo. I didn't realize this. Like, I when I first bought... I need that because then, like, you can still get fun. down to it, but like, it's still on. Yeah, you know, I need that, Just but I didn't. <laughs> that's true, I, but I didn't. I don't have any of that. I wish I did. I uh, remember buying a set once, and it was like a sheer top, and I hated it because I could see my belly button. I oh. thought that was weird. Oh. I don't know why. Yeah, but that bothered me so much i didn't like being able to see my belly button i'd rather it just not be there because it's like a sheer like it feels like it should be covering but it wasn't oh, and it was just i like, see 
What color was it? Black. And you could still see through it? You could see through That's weird. weird. Yeah, I agree. That's weird. I don't it think I'd very like that either. But I have like a super ugly belly button, so I feel like <laughs> I would hate that. Mine's really deep. <laughs> mine too! Oh, mine too. Yeah, except for like now, it's just, it's... Uh, Less deep. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> being pushed out by a lot. But yeah, I have like a, yeah, I feel like I could stick my whole finger in it if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I couldn't, like that burly hurt, but like, I got a <laughs> deep belly button, I feel like. <laughs> Do I have a uh, longer than average belly button hole? <laughs> Someone needs to let me know. <laughs> Someone stick their finger in my belly button hole. <laughs> Maybe that's how we'll spice mm, it up. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's one I haven't tried. Ew. I'm totally lying. That's gross. <laughs> Should we uh, move on to one of our conversation jar sure. questions? We came up with this jar of conversation, like just a question, and they're pretty entertaining. We're going to get a jar and like put a bunch of random questions in it, and then we'll just pull one out Yeah, and read it and discuss it. I can't wait. So. Some of them are really funny. And I haven't read all of them. I only read like five of them. Mariah came up with them. So like kudos to her. I didn't have anything to do with it. I need to get a jar. Like I should have brought a little one. mason jar. Yeah. Even though no one can see it. <laughs> well, maybe one day. Yeah. One day we do plan on like having like a vlog, <laughs> a YouTube channel, not just the podcast. Yeah. But... Okay. Pick one. You get. To you want one. me to pick? I don't care. Okay. Oh. We can't see them either, by the way. Yeah, we don't know what they are. They're folded up. Okay. (laughs) When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? And what do you do now? What did I want to be when I grew up? And what do I want to be now? What do you do now? Oh, what do I do now? Um, hmm. What did I want to be when I grew up? A bum. (laughs) <laughs> and what do what you a, do now a bum. <laughs> I really succeeded I don't know what I wanted to do at a bright. I guess I didn't mind the idea of going to nursing until I became an EMT and then now I would never be a nurse kudos to all them because um, I will not do that um, I remember in fifth grade talking about being a nurse with you yeah. When we grew I've up. always thought the medical field was pretty cool, but I think being an EMT was funner because the adrenaline. The, yeah, it was just more like it was just I don't know. You have limited resources, and <laughs> it was entertaining. Like you did MacGyver a lot of things yeah. to get things to work, and it, it was fun. It was a good time. I hate that we never got outcomes of the patients most of the time. Yeah, that's what sucked because you never you don't know really like. know. You just drop them off and yeah, leave. you just drop them off and you're like, oh god, I hope it works out. You know what I mean? But like nurses kind of get to see the after. So like, I think I would like that part, but watching the nurses in the hospitals, I don't want anything mm-hmm. to do with it. They deal with a lot more bullshit than I would ever deal with. So I get it. And I, what I do now is, um, I'm a stay at home mom, mm-hmm. but if I had my choice in what I could be now, it'd be a goddamn stripper. <laughs> it'd be a fucking stripper. That'd be so fun. That'd be so fun. I think you'd be good at it. Too. I think it'd be so much fun. I feel like, working in a strip club has to be the like just awesome it has to be awesome like i'm sure strippers have their like you know that they stories hate. yeah that they hate about their job but like how entertaining how entertaining like every time i go to a strip club i just think they are the most i want to learn how to self, pull dance just like self-aware most oh my god they're awesome they're awesome. They just got it all out for anybody to see. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Like, I, mm, I try my hardest, but like, <laughs> I can't, there's one place a year that I get everything out. Yeah. <laughs> one place a year. I, I don't know. I want to learn how to pull dance. Me too. Not the stripping part. They look so good. But I think and it some would of them be don't so even much strip. Fun. Some of them like, Keep on their whole gap. It just yeah. looks so good. It like, looks so good. So 
empowering. Yes. They look so like graceful and they look like they just, they love it. And they're a little booty shorts. Yeah. Um, Like they're having the time of their life and like, oh, I just love it. That one time that we went and did like the amateur hour. (laughs) Yes. Yes. I had so much fun. I had so much fun. I would love to go and do that again. Not in all my glory now. Not necessarily. Mm. No, I don't really think many people like pregnant strippers, but maybe there's some weird. I mean, there's a lot of men that like, you know, pregnant. (laughs) Yeah, it's weird because I just don't think I'm attractive at all while I'm pregnant. But yeah, I mean, I do love being a stand-on mom. I do. But I think that would be like my dream job. That'd be so much fun. Oh my God, I'd love it. I love music. I I love drinks and I love being naked. (laughs) You know, like perfect job for me. (laughs) yes application please (laughs) but I want to look at like a plus size strip club I don't know if they have those and I don't want to be like gender or like genre specific Mm -hmm. but like hell yeah yeah that'd be so fun we should open one oh Oh my god we should open one that's what our town needs oh my god yes yes (laughs) we don't have anything like that no we we don't have anything fun like that we have the bounty (laughs) It's pretty close. There is a pool in there. Yeah, you can dance they do on. have a pool. It's fun. Yeah, we I'm have a bar. Sure it has lots of diseases on it, but yeah, who knows when the last time it was cleaned? I definitely yeah. danced by on my it. leggings the last time I was there. <laughs> I cleaned that whole thing. <laughs> Spread some Lysol on my thighs. <laughs> Wiggled my a little dance. Down. <laughs> That's probably how they clean it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I could see it. I mean, <laughs> COVID-19, what is that? <laughs> Doesn't exist in the bounty. We, or when I was little, uh, I wanted to be an architect. That's cool. I still remember. Like, I could believe that. I would play The Sims just to build houses. Do you want to like, did you want to like draw the houses too and like the whole bit? Oh, yeah. I would say you're such a good an, artist, though. You could you could do one that. time. This is the nerd coming out in me, but oh. I was in college, and I, at that time, I still liked doing that. I designed a house, and I they weren't real blueprints or anything like that, but I just drew it out on a piece of paper and I cut it out, and I made a little house out of paper. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> That's not even nerdy. That's impressive. <laughs> That's impressive. I thought it was pretty fun. And my mom was like really like blown away at home. That's awesome. But I wish I could have seen it. I'm an administrative assistant. Yeah. I don't do anything like that. No. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but I still think I could get into that. Like Oh, you're such a good artist, though. I'm almost 30, though. and That sounds like a lot of work to go to school for Fair. architecture and design. I think now I'd rather do beauty school. Yeah. If I were to go back to school, it would be beauty school and I would do oh, that. You've wanted to do that for so long, too. But, and I, when I was little, I never really thought of doing hair. But oh, now so that I'm better. older and I realized how much I like it, I think I would. And you'd be so good at it. And you want to, you've talked about it for so long. I know. It's time. You just need to go. I need to. Go and then you can practice on my head. Yeah. Yeah. You need a color knife. I have so oh, many people do it. that I can think of that would be like a regular client too. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you do my hair now. <laughs> and you're not even in me to start school. charging you for it. Yeah. Go I'm ahead. <laughs> I, I would pay you to do it. I even the other day sat down and if, like I was writing down goals mm-hmm. and that was one of them was go to beauty school. And I wrote down like a price list. Oh, like if I were to have a salon. Yeah. So that That's was kind a of good exciting. idea. You should look at other, like, do you, whenever you get your hair done, do you get it done locally? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, there's a couple girls that do it locally here and I haven't got my hair done uh, like since my wedding, like a very long time. Yeah. But, um, 
I would like to go get my hair done before because I have my maternity pictures and mm. baby pictures and thing. And like before I go to the hospital, I want my shit done. You know, like I want I want it to look nice. Well, you don't know when so the next like, time, right? Could be. That's uh-huh. what I did with Gavin. Was I got my hair chopped off beforehand because. <sighs> I don't want to cut my hair, I don't think, but I just I did because I needed something like, easy to take care of. Oh, I'm sure I'm gonna hate my long hair. It's literally past my nipples. Like I it's gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna hate it once the baby's here, and especially whenever they can grab hair and like oh, messy I'm buns. Gonna, yes, I'm gonna be a messy bun queen. But um you should look at like local girls that do hair, because I know there's a few that we went to school with that do mm-hmm. hair now and ask them like their price list or where they went to school yeah. or where they recommend that you I go think to it school. would be I'm sure you can get like financial aid for school and stuff I'd be able to yeah I have it I think it has to be like an accredited beauty school oh, to, I see. to get it so I don't know if the one yeah in town would qualify sure. but I know a couple people that went there but everyone says that they loved hair school it sounds so fun I, I could never there's no way it's so much fun I heard that whenever you become a hairstylist, though, you're not just a hairstylist. You're a therapist, too. Mm. See? And I've that got makes some me therapist trouble. skills. There. Yeah. Yeah, you're very good at giving advice because you're the only person I ask <laughs> it for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it'd be fun to, like, turn my garage into a salon. Yeah. I mean, we used your garage for a lot of things. We do. <laughs> um, everything but parking a car. Pretty now much. that I think about it, very... I mean, there's a lawnmower in here. Yeah, I guess. But it's mostly storage and uh, a grill. (laughs) Yeah. And our table. um, Yeah, and our podcast station here. Yeah. Do I have time to draw one? Huh? Do I have time to draw one? Oh, yeah. I can do another one. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to I thought you meant draw a picture of something. No, I don't draw, Mariah. I don't draw. I thought you meant about the house. I drew a house. Well, no. <laughs> Do I have time to draw you a house? <laughs> like, what? I don't know. <laughs> what body part do you wish you could detach and why? What body part do you wish you could detach? I know exactly. Yeah, I know. I know which one you would choose. Yeah. And I know I would also choose that one, but also... I don't know. I mean, I'd like to detach, like, my stomach fat. Well, that would be cool. Would you ever want to reattach it, though? No. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I would detach my tits any time that I could. Any time. If I could take them off and then just, Mm. like, put them on when I wanted them. Like, if I was like, I'm going out to dinner, I gotta put on my tits, you know? Like, that would be so cool. But since I have to carry around these huge Bahama Mamas every day, I just want to take them off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would totally want to as well. Take them off, put them back I on. think if it wasn't that, I would choose ears. Oh, that's a good idea. Because that's a good idea. How many times I've tried to take a nap and my kids come in, hey, mom. Hey, yeah. mom. Mm-hmm. Hey, mom. Yeah, fair. Let me take a freaking nap. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take off my ears. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm taking my ears off. That's a good idea. Um, if you need me for any emergency, shake me awake. Just just put <laughs> my ear back on. Thank you. <laughs> Don't scream it. Yeah, you have to talk very quietly <laughs> when you reattach my ears. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's what I would say. Yeah. That's okay, a good what? one. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh-huh. That was a good one. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Um, yeah, that was a fun one. Those are an interesting one. Very, very. Now I'm. We hope you go enjoy. Home and have sex. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, go home. Have sex. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all mm. the mamas and all the mamas that want to be mamas. We're here for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the dads that are mamas. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I'm even gonna go with fur mamas. Mm. All them mamas too. They important. Yeah. All the mamas that are just mamas in general. Yeah. And all the big mamas. 
<laughs> no little mamas. And every mom in between. <laughs> yeah, right. thanks for listening. Yeah. So you can find us on Facebook or if you want to contact us, you can send a message on there. Yeah, or, any topics you want to hear. Uh, email us at the queens and mom jeans at gmail.com. I always want to just say at the queens and mom jeans.com, but that's not a thing. That's not <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist. Well, mine. <laughs> but it's not us. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what else? I need a sign off. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see you next week. We're hoping to have new topics for May coming mm-hmm. up. Possibly talking about mental health. Yes. Coming up and talking about having guest speakers on the podcast. So that's cool. If you want to be a guest, oh email yeah, us. if you have any topics that you want to discuss or feel like you want to talk about, you're more than welcome to get a hold of us, and we'll see what we can do about you coming on and being a guest speaker. That's pretty cool. That would be fun. Yeah, come hang out in my garage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with me and Kaylin, and yeah. Well, I guess we'll talk to you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye. Bye.